Yeah, hello guys. Today I will show you um, my new project. It's called Archon. Um, it's a um, mobile server administration tool for Ark and Wolf, uh, for the game Ark and Wolf, which you can see on the right side. Um, it's based on Archon, Archon uh, protocol from Steam. Um, to manage all the server stuff which is available at the current dev development stage. Um, yeah, let's start to show you some stuff. At first things first, you have to create a new account on Archon. So let's call this. Uh, Let's call this arc password one two three four. Confirm the password one two three four. Register. Uh, now the archon account is registered. You can log in with this account. Username arc password one two three four and login. Now you can see the main menu where you can uh, go to player management, server settings, chat and broadcast, um, the Archon console, uh, Archon console is disabled at the moment because I'm it's work in progress. Um, you can manage your own account that's the next step we have to do and you can log out. So by clicking on manage account you are able to change your current password and you ha uh, and you can enter or edit your uh, server settings for the Archon connection. For every changing for every changing you want to do you have to put your old password inside. That's the only thing you need. So let's start with one two three four host. Uh, let's see. I've read, I've wrote down my server settings to bring this in. Port three two three three zero zero. Password hidden. Change settings. Now you can see the settings are saved inside and refreshed. Now you can go back to the main page. And now uh, the Archon connection should stay and you can do some stuff with the server. Let's start with server settings. Where you can set the time of the server, you can save the world with notification or without notification, which means um, the players on the server will get a short broadcast message that the world is saved. You don't really need this, but yeah, it's there. So let's test with notification, save the world. As you can see on the right side, world backup created is pop up popped up. <laughs> on the on the game, and you will notice with a small message. Server time, you can edit this with a slider, and when you change the slider, the time will display it on the button. So let's say we want the server in the morning time, so 9 p.m. Uh, 9 o'clock in the morning something like this set time and the time is changed you can see on the right side on my on my game and you will notice you will get a small message time of day has been set to blah 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 or you want to make it dark set to 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 you know a later time 
and bam, everything dark. Uh, message of the day settings. Here you can set the message of the day. Uh, this message will pop up when a player connects to the server. You can change this by just writing something in. Blah blah. Save the message of the day and you will get a small message which confirms. <coughs> uh, yeah, there's some some crappy error. The back button doesn't work well. Uh, let's set the time of the server back to normal. So, player management. Here you can see all your connected players and do some stuff with them. You have to click on the player you want to do some stuff with. You can change the drop down menu to kick and bun. Bun doesn't work at the moment. I have to figure out um, how to save the bunned players in the list to show them up here which allows you to unbun them. Also, I need to find out a way to save all connected players in the, to edit the whitelist. But you can... Uh, I, will, I will show you some stuff first before I will kick myself. Chat and broadcast. Here you can broadcast a message. Broadcasting message is a pop-up which displays on the top side of the game by the server. Blah blah, broadcast. A message will pop up from the server. This is a nice stuff to announce some some yeah to announce some stuff like server administrations or whatever. And you can send message as a server. Blah blah which will show up here. And you will get a log of the current server, <coughs> of the current server chat. As well, when you, when you leave this blank and you click this button, to, it will only refresh the, the server chat log. You can write something here. So now, when you click refresh, you will get all this message here. Uh, all this, all this text is only stored in the season by the, uh, in the, in the, in the season from the web browser, which means when you log out and log in again, this, the whole uh, message block is empty again. Yeah, the back button is really crappy. It should go to the home screen, but it doesn't. So the last thing I have to, I have implemented at the moment is the player management, and you can kick, kick a player. Just uh, select a player you want to kick, select kick or bun. Kick is the only working thing at the moment, and click do. Bam. Now I'm out from the game and hopefully you like the video. Uh, check, should check the description, there you can find uh, the link for the web application and you can find a link to the Steam, uh, f to the Steam guide documentation of this application. <coughs> and hope you hopefully you like this video, please subscribe and yeah, now I'm out of this video too.